Okay, so as requested, I'm just doing a quick little side video here um, to show you how you handle the setup of this webhook URL for PayPal. So um, I, I did link to something down below in the description originally, but it was maybe a little confusing for some people. So um, let me just explain that to you right here. So when we're in the middle of creating our, um, our zap here, if, if you didn't start, like if you're just starting with the set, creating the webhook, make sure you click up above. I'm gonna um, suggest the other videos so that you can see the actual creation of this zap that we're doing. Um, but just to help you understand how to do this webhook piece. So when you're logged into your Zapier account and your Zapier, Zapier, I always do that. Um, when you're logged in here, it's gonna automatically populate this for you right here, this um, PayPal webhook. You can see it's actually a Zapier webhook, not a PayPal webhook. So just to clarify that, what you're gonna do, you're gonna see your specific hook. You're gonna come here and click copy so that it's on your clipboard. And then you're gonna go into your PayPal account. Keep in mind, it has to be a business account in order for these settings to show up for you. So if you don't already have a business account, um, you're gonna need to do that first um, and just upgrade your personal account to a business account. It doesn't change, there's no fees for doing that, um, but it then may um, put you in a situation where if somebody is sending you money, um, it might charge you a fee. So if you use PayPal for your customers or clients to pay you for things, then you should have a business account and you should be paying the transaction fee, right? But if you use your PayPal as just a way to transfer money um, with your family or friends or things like that, sort of like how a Venmo would work, there's still a way that you can do that within PayPal um, that won't charge you the fee. So um, at least I believe there is. Honestly, I haven't tried that in a while. But point being, if you're using this for business, you should be paying that fee anyway. So um, anyways, you're gonna come into your PayPal, you're gonna land on your homepage. Um, I am not gonna show you that page because that has some of my personal information on it. But when you get to that homepage, you're gonna just hover over your name in the top right corner and go down to account settings. And then you'll end up on this page that I'm on right now. Then you're going to come um, over to, where did my mouse go? There we go. You're gonna come over to here and search IPN. It's all you have to search and hit enter. And you're automatically going to see instant payment notifications, okay? Then you just click, yours might say um, create or set up or something like that. Um, mine's already there, so it says update. Either way, you just click here. And then you're gonna come into this page. And as you can see, I already have this um, your URL here um, and it says it's enabled, but you won't have anything there. So you're gonna go ahead and hit edit settings. And then that URL that you just, if you remember, copied from Zapier, you're going to come in here, paste, hit save, done. And that's going to be creating that webhook for you that you need. Okay. So hopefully that was a little more clear, a little more helpful for those who are um, connecting PayPal to Active Campaign or potentially MailChimp or MailerLite or one of the other um, email platforms. Okay. So if you have any questions or if anything is unclear or if anything doesn't show up the way it does for me, um, let me know in the comments and we will figure it out together. All right. Have a great day.